Welcome back everyone. Today I will recap a 2022 Indonesian horror film named KK and Dita Sapanari. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see a group of friends arriving in the city of B. Among them, a girl named Nor sees an old man, but just then Ayu gets down from the car and asks her what she is looking at. Ayu then goes to her brother Andri, and Nor notices that the old man is now gone. After this, some locals drop them on their bikes to the district of K, where they meet Prabhu. Andri introduces him to her sister Ayu and her friend Nor. Andri then tells them that Prabhu is the village head and that he will be the supervisor of their extracurricular activities. However, when they reach Prabhu's house, he tells Andri that Ayu and Nor can't go for activities. Ayu tells him that they have come from far away and they intend to contribute something good to the local people. Prabhu says that no one has ever done extracurricular activity here, to which she says that's why they can try it and their project will help the villagers. Prabhu agrees and says that he is going to show them a location that could be suitable for their program. He then shows them the place and tells them that this place used to be a bathing place for the dancers. But, they don't exist anymore, and then it was used as a source of water for their village. But in the last few years, the water is drying out, so the villagers have some difficulties getting water because the river is quite far from there. Ayu says they will make a plan to channel the water to this place. Meanwhile, Nor feels some pain in her shoulder, and she gets terrified seeing a creature nearby, but she doesn't tell anyone about it. A few weeks later, Ayu returns there with her team, and they reach the village along with the local villagers on their bikes through the same forest route. She meets Prabhu there and introduces her team to him. Prabhu tells them that their village is a little behind, so they don't have electricity here, and the houses here don't have bathrooms. Widya asks him if there is another village nearby, as she heard the sound of Gameland on the way here. Prabhu says she must have misheard it, so don't let it bother her. He then introduces them to Mrs. Sundari and tells them that the girls will stay at her house, and the boys will stay next door until a bigger place is ready. Now that night, Widya was not able to sleep, and she hears some noise. She sees a shadow on the wall, due to which she gets terrified and quietly lays back down. But, when she looks back again, that shadow had disappeared from there. However, we see an old horrible lady sitting beside Nor and caressing her. The next day, Prabhu tells them that if their program succeeds, this place, which they call Sindin would regain its function as the source of water for their village. Widya asks him about the offerings kept nearby, to which he says the villagers remain respectful of the traditions of their ancestors, and that's one of their ways of worshipping the universe and its inhabitants. Now when he is leaving there, Nor again sees that creature standing at some distance, but when Bhima asks her what's wrong, she says nothing and leaves there with him. Prabhu then takes them to their burial ground, where Bhima asks him why are some gravestones covered by black clothes, to which he says that just means they were less than 10 years old. Suddenly, Nor faints and they all get shocked to see this, and Prabhu says maybe they should go back. Bhima takes her away from there, and Prabhu tells others that most of the villagers plant corn, that's why they spend most of their time here. Widya asks him where that way goes, to which he tells her that it goes toward the woods, and that monument marks the boundary between the village and the woods. He then tells them not to go near that monument, and that they must stay away from the woods. Now that night, we see Nor in the woods and that creature is chasing her, but suddenly she wakes up and it turns out to be a nightmare. The next day, they decide to split into groups for smaller programs. The first group will be Widya and Wahyu, second, Nor and Anton, and third, Bhima and herself. Later, while Ayu is working, she sees Bhima coming from the woods. That night, she tells the girls that Bhima said that he heard a voice from the woods, so he passed the monument to see where the voice came from, but no one was there. She then asks Nor does Bhima has a girlfriend. Now the next day, Widya asks Nor if she noticed there isn't anybody their age here. To which she says maybe their children have gone to the big cities. Nor then goes to take a bath in a bathroom stall at their work site, and meanwhile, Widya waits outside. Nor hears someone growling there and we see that creature behind her. She gets terrified of this and tries to get out, but the door gets stuck. She tries to call Widya for help, however, Widya hears Nor singing a song. Now Nor sits there in fear and starts praying, and we see that entity moving towards her, but as she throws a stone at it while reciting prayers, that creature vanishes from there. She then comes out, and Widya asks her what happened, but she doesn't tell her anything. After this, when Widya starts taking a bath, both of them hear that song, which Widya thinks that Nor is singing and Nor thinks it is Widya. We then see a lady coming towards Widya, but she suddenly disappears, and when Nor tries to peek in, she finds that lady standing there. Widya then comes out terrified, and they both leave there. Later that night, Nor visits Prabhu, and an old man is also sitting with him. Prabhu tells her that he is Bayat, and he lives on the other side of the village. Nor then tells Prabhu that ever since she arrived at this village, she feel there is something weird. At first, she thought she was just seeing things, only then Bayat asks her to drink the coffee, saying it's not polite to refuse the host, and that this coffee is prepared for her. 
She says she doesn't drink coffee, but he requests her to just drink it. Now when Noor takes a sip, Bayad asks her is it sweet? He then performs a ritual by sacrificing a hen and tells her that what she saw is a creature that rules this place. He is one of the hundreds that inhabits the village. He is angry because of what she brought to this village. Bayat says that she doesn't know that she has been looking after her all this time. And as Nor faints, we see that horrible old lady behind her. Bayat tells her that he promised to not bother her anymore. The hen then flies in the air and we see that creature eating it. Later that night, Nor comes out of the house after hearing that song, and soon after she gets terrified seeing a snake behind her. She then sees Widya standing there with another snake in her hands. However, Widya wakes up in her room and finds that Nor is not there. She comes out looking for Nor and hears the same song, and when she comes out of the house, she gets scared seeing Nor standing in a strange position. We then see that Nor is possessed, and she begins dancing, and Widya asks her what she is doing. She goes to her and asks her to snap out of it, but she continues dancing. On the other hand, Wahoo notices that Bima is staring to the side and suddenly he gets shocked to see something. Nor and Ayu wake up hearing his voice and we find that it's Widya who is actually possessed and dancing. Wahoo shakes her and brings her back to her senses and then Sundari comes there and takes her inside the house. The next day, Bayat and Prabhu give them all coffee to drink, out of which Wahyu and Ayu find that coffee very bitter, but when Vidya drinks it, she likes it very much and she drinks the whole coffee. Seeing this, Bayat tells her that she is warm-blooded and someone like her is well-liked by them. He then shows her a paste, saying that this might help to make them stay away, and then applies it on her forehead. Later, Vidya asks Prabhu why the coffee tastes sweet only to her. To which he tells her that black coffee is usually used as an offering to their ancestors, so spirits love that coffee. Maybe something is following her and is interested in her. Meanwhile, Anton tells Nor that Bima has been acting really strange lately. He often hears him moaning at night, and the weird thing is that he hears a woman moaning too from his room. Nor doesn't believe him, but he says he didn't believe too at first, until he found offerings in his room. Nor says she has been friends with Bima for a long time, so she knows what kind of person he is. Anton then brings her to Bima's room and shows her the offerings, and asks her does she believe him now. Only then do they hear a strange noise from an Almora, and when they go there to check, they get terrified seeing a snake inside it. Later that night, Prabhu brings them to a new house and tells them that they will stay here now, so they don't bother Sundari anymore. After Prabhu leaves, Nor tells Bima that she needs to talk to him, but he leaves there without saying anything. Now after some time, Widya hear Bima and a woman moaning in his room, but before she could check, Nor comes there and asks her what she is doing. Bima then shows up and then leaves, and then Ayu also comes there. We then see Bima going into the woods with a torch in his hand. Meanwhile, Widya is sitting in her room while Nor is praying. She then goes to the kitchen and gets shocked to see Nor there, and when she comes back to her room, she finds that Nor is not there, and suddenly she gets terrified by Nor. The group then tries to calm her down and gives her water to drink. But after drinking water, she pulls hair out of her mouth, which everyone gets shocked to see, and Anton says somebody is doing black magic on her. The next day, Nor overhears Bima asking Ayo about a bangle that he had given her to give to Widya. She says she lost it and asks him why he is giving an old bracelet to Widya anyway. But Bima leaves there saying he was wrong to trust her. Meanwhile, Widya comes out hearing some sound, and a villager runs there seeing a snake in their house. Later, he tells Prabhu that he saw a snake in the house, but can't find it now. Prabhu asks Ayu if there was a snake in the kitchen, to which she says she didn't see any snakes, but the villager swears that he saw a big snake there. Later, Prabhu tells Ayu and Nor that there have been a few incidents the past few days, so maybe it's best to end their activities now. Ayu says they haven't finished their programs yet, and what happened earlier was just a misunderstanding. However, Nor agrees with him. They then return home, and Antons asks Nor what Prabhu said. She asks him where is Widya and Bhima, to which Wahyu tells her that Widya is in her room and he doesn't know about Bhima. She then asks Anton how much more time they need to finish the Sindhan program, to which Anton says they can't leave the program because they might not graduate. Bhima then returns home and Nor asks him did he pray today, as it's been a while since she saw him pray. Bhima comes to her and tells her that his spiritual life is his own business and then he leaves there. The next day, Nor goes to the woods following Bima, and she finds a gamelan hall there. Meanwhile, we see Ayo and Bima getting intimate. They then both come out of a hut, and Nor gets shocked at them there. On the other hand, Wahayu and Widya go to the market, where a vendor asks them where are they staying. Wahayu tells him in a village deep in the woods. Hearing this, the vendor suggests them to find lodging to stay for tonight, and warns them not to go into the woods at night. He tells them that even the locals here don't dare to go into the woods at this hour. Wahyu doesn't believe him, so the vendor tells them to don't let their thoughts be empty when they go into the woods, and if something weird happens, just ignore it and keep going. Now on the way back, their bike breaks down in the middle of the woods, and only then do they see an old man sitting there, due to which they get scared. 
They go to him and ask him for help, and he calls two locals for their help, who takes his bike. The old man then takes them to his place where a party is going on. Now Vahu starts eating food there, but Witya finds it all very strange. After this, a dancer comes there and starts dancing, seeing which Witya gets very scared because it was the same dancer whom she had seen in that bathroom stall. She asks Wahu to leave there, and only then the old man tells them that their bike is fixed, but asks them to stay there for a while. However, when Witya says they have to leave, he asks them to take some food with them. Meanwhile, Nor confronts Bhima and Ayu, and she tells Bhima that Anton told her that he often hears a woman moaning from his room. But Ayu gets shocked to know this and asks Bhima about it. Witya and Wahyu then reach home, and he tells Anton that he has come with gifts and that their return journey was so exciting. Wahyu then comes inside with Witya and very excitingly tells them what happened to them in the middle of the woods. Nor asks him if there is another village in the woods. To which he says yes, but Anton says as far as he knows, this is the only village here. Wahyu then tries to prove himself by showing the food he had brought from there, but everyone gets shocked to see a monkey head inside it. Later, Nor finds a green shawl in Ayu's bag, and someone tells her to stop what she is doing. When she looks back, she sees a silhouette of a woman there. However, when she comes in, it's possessed Widya. Nor gets a bit scared, and Widya says it'd be better for her not to get involved, or else she will pay for it. Nor asks to stay out of what? To which she says she doesn't need to know. She respects who is behind her right now, but she won't hesitate to hurt her if she gets involved. Only then do we see that old lady standing behind Nor, causing Widya to leave there. The next day early morning, Nor goes to Bima's room and tells him that it's time for morning prayer. We then see her praying in her room, and Bima also prays in his room. Later, he tells Nor that he made a mistake because he had no choice, and he just realized it now. That night, he had a dream, and it felt so real. He was in a forest and he found Widya lying unconscious with many snakes crawling on her. The woman tells him that she won't be able to escape from the snake. He asks her who she is, to which she says Dawa, his friend is ensnared in the ancient ritual of this village, and she can help her if he does everything she tells him. He asks her what he has to do. She asks him to go to Tapak Tila's, and in the hut near Gamelin Hall, he will find a bangle. He has to give it to her friend for her protection, and this is the only way to save her. Then every night he has to meet her, and she will look after his friend, and if he does everything she says, he will get what he wants. Nor gets shocked and tells him that she is a djinn, and how could he believe her, to which he says at that time, he only thought about Widya. Nor says she caught him with Ayu yesterday, and who was the woman Anton heard in his room. Bima says he only remembers Dawa's temptations haunt him every night. Nor asks him where is the bangle now, to which he says he doesn't know, and he is afraid that Widya is in danger. Nor says she also saw Widya with a snake in her dream, and this must be a sign. The next day, Widya finds Nor praying in the kitchen, and she asks her what she is doing. But suddenly the old woman grabs her head and asks her if she likes it here. And has she met Batarawuhi? Widya gets terrified of this, and the old woman says even that handsome boy has met Batarawuhi. She then reveals that she is her grandmother, and she won't let her granddaughter be harmed by anyone here. Widya asks what she means by harm, to which she tells her that two of her friends will not stay alive if they don't stop committing sins. She asks her to tell them that they have crossed the line and that they might cause harm to the whole village. She then leaves Nor body, causing her to faint. Later, when Nor wakes up, Widya tells her that she is scared. Nor cries and says that she failed to look after her. Now after Widya leaves, Nor checks her bag and finds that bangle in it. She then meets Ayu and asks her what she is doing. She found a green shawl in her bag, and she also found the bangle in Widya's bag. Ayu asks her why she is going through her stuff. That shawl belongs to her and the bangle is from Bima. Nor says Bima got that bangle after a dream from Jin and asks her where did she get that shawl. She asks her to come with her to Prabhu's house, and she has to tell him everything. Ayu accepts that she had put the bangle in Widya's bag, but not because Bima told her to. A dancer came to her, and she told her to give it to Widya. In exchange she gave her a green shawl that could make Bima fall for her. Nor gets furious knowing that she made a deal with a djinn, and then she leaves there. Later, Nor tells everyone let's go home, and their activities here end tonight. Anton asks her why can't they finish it first. Bima says he knows he made a mistake, but they have to finish the program. Nor says they all could be in grave danger and only then Wahyu says there is something wrong with this place, to which Nor says it's not about the place, but it's their fault. Later that night, Widya wakes up hearing some noise, and she comes out to check, she finds Bima going somewhere. She follows him into the woods and reaches the hut near the Gameland Hall. She peeks inside and gets terrified seeing Batarawuhi in her real form getting intimate with Bima, and when she tries to flee, she gets confronted by the old man. They then bring her to the Gameland Hall, and Batarawuhi says she is the Dawa that she has been waiting for. She then smells her and says she loves her scent, and tells her to stay here. Widya tries to run away but the locals catch her, and suddenly Nor wakes up from her sleep. 
She finds that Whittia is gone, and when she tries to wake up Ayu, she gets terrified seeing that Ayu is in kind of a possessed state. Wahyu and Anton come there hearing her call and they both run to get Prabhu. On the other hand, we see Ayu there in Gameland Hall dancing with locals, and all the locals are actually ghosts, and they have surrounded Whittia. Here Prabhu sees Ayu's condition and asks a local to bring Bayat there. Nora then shows him that shawl, seeing which he gets shocked, and Nora tells him that Ayu and Bima had sex at Tapak Tila's, but Bima wasn't his normal self. They followed everything the jinn said, and her name is Dawa. Wahyu and Anton get furious and ask her why she didn't tell them earlier. Prabhu tells them to stop and asks everyone to search for them. After they all leave, Bayat tells Nora that this shawl and bangle belong to the dancer, the goddess of this village, and Dawa is not a name, but a title given to the dancer. Her name is Badarawuhi. This bangle can only be worn by the Dawa that she has chosen, and this shawl is used to captivate anyone that she wants. Her friend's souls are in Anchor Amerka now, and he can only hope she will let them go. He then goes into a room asking them to wait there, and soon after he leaves the house in the form of a dog. He reaches Anchor Amerka and barks at them, causing them to stop dancing and leave the way for Widia. Widia then leaves away from there, and when she looks back, everyone else starts dancing again. Meanwhile, locals find Bima and bring him back to the house, and they make him lie down next to Ayu. Widia reaches back the next morning, and she also gets very sad seeing the condition of Ayu and Bima. She tells Nora that she followed Bima and saw him there with the dancer and they were surrounded by so many snakes. Ayu was there too, and she was in tears as she was forced to dance. Bayat then gives her coffee to drink, but this time she finds it bitter. Bayat tells them that the souls of their friends are trapped in Anchor Amerka. The snakes that she saw are the offspring of Bima and Badarawuhi, and Ayu has made the new Dawa. She has to keep dancing every inch of the land in these woods. They are punished for what they did, so he can't help them. Later, Prabhu tells Nor that a long time ago, their ancestors believed that by sacrificing their daughters, their village would be safe from misfortune. The gravestones covered in the black cloth are graves of those who were sacrificed when this village was still under the devil's temptations. The Gamelan Hall at Tapak Tila's was a venue for dance performances, but for the spirits that inhabit the village. They then all leave the village, and Nora says that that evening she left the village with so much guilt, that won't go away even until today. Bima died four days after they returned home, and Ayu died three months later. That was the last time she saw Prabhu and Bayat, and they never went back there. Widya says she is sure that Nora has asked him to respect Bima and Ayu and their families. She requests him to not use their real names and not reveal the name of that village. Later, Nor visits Kai and asks him does he know that someone has been looking after her. Kai says her name is Doc and she has been following her for a long time. He had asked her to leave her before, but she promised to look after her and in that village, she really kept her promise. She must feel heavy sometimes on her shoulders and that means that Doc is fighting the creatures that are trying to bother her. Nor then leaves there and we see Doc behind her and she smiles looking at Kai. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.